sketches. In this video, I'm going to show you the new Photoshop CC 2014 convert to linked feature, and I'm going to use it with patterns. Uh, patterns that are a smart object and patterns that are storing layer comps. Quite a mix of things there. Okay, what I'm going to do now, first thing to do, it's actually going to create a layer for that. So, new, new layer, and just going to fill that layer. So, edit, fill, click OK. Now, what I want to do now is actually go to layer, layer style. I want to add a pattern. Patterns I'm going to add are from graphic extras, but of course you could use any other patterns that's uh, stored in here. So, find lots and lots of different patterns on the web. So, you just go through all those. Click OK. So now, what I want to do is convert that to a smart object. And that's done via layer. Layer smart objects, convert to smart object. Now, layer smart objects, and this is the key one, convert to linked. Right, it saves it as a PSB file. Let's just see, PSB there, and I'm just going to call it Weaves. Weaves 1. It's just a normal file. It's a special file, a very large Photoshop file. So that's been saved. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to edit the contents. So I went to click that, and that's in the properties. So you just go Window, Properties. In the file, what I want to do now is Layer Comps. Just going to go over here, Layers. Click on the Pattern Overlay over here. Bring up the various patterns. So I'm just going to go for that pattern. Click New Layer Comp. And the reason I'm doing layer comps, the layer comps actually save the layer style. And that's the reason why I did layer styles in the first place. I could have used a new fill layer. Unfortunately, that information isn't stored so uh, with layer comps. But uh, layer styles, with pattern overlay, we can. OK. Now I'm just going to double click on that again. Bring up another one. Click OK. New layer comp. And again, like I say, appearance there, that's the key thing. If that's not set, you will not save it. it. needs to be set. Double click on that again. And you can also change various other settings. You can actually change the scale there. So I'm just going to change the scale. New layer comp. And that's that information is also saved. So OK, but I'm just, I could obviously continue for, say, 20 or 30 or 50 patterns, which I can save to this PSP file. Another key thing is you can actually go to Pattern Overlay, and I'm just going to bring up Pattern Overlay, and of course, just go over there and load another set of patterns. And you can obviously, so instead of having weaves, you could have flowers, whatever, whatever, sort of concrete designs, all in a single PSP file. That's the key thing. So just cancel that at that point. Right, once I've actually done that, I want to do is close that. I want to save it, obviously, I don't want to think, so it's saved. Now you go back over here, and this is in the original document with that layer, and you've got here an option, don't apply layer comp, but you can actually layer comp there. So you can just go through the layer comps, and that's in, the, obviously, a separate document, completely separate, and you can just select that. So obviously, for if you've got a team of people, different projects, you can actually have a central file with all these various patterns in. Hope you found this quick tutorial of interest. Thank you much.